Quick update on the Mendel Prusa 3D printer build project. Um, this is day five. Actually, this is where I left off on day five. I've finished soldering all the components onto the ramps board. Ramps is a system that uses Arduino as the microcontroller. So there's an Arduino Uno uh, Mega as the bottom layer and the ramps board which I soldered all the components onto is actually a shield that plugs into the Arduino. Uh, a shield in Arduino parlance is a basically a plug-in add-on board and you can stack them up and have multiple shields. The purpose of this shield is to host your stepper drivers and all the other interfaces for your printer like your heater and your extruder and your thermistor. So this board has provisions uh, to plug in uh, different stepper drivers for each axis for the extruder, thermistor, and, and so on. And that's actually powered by a regular PC power supply, PC switching power supply. So it's providing two 12 volt connections into the RAMS board. Uh, there's also some some uh, micro switches that are provisionally plugged in as well. These are home switches um, and I'll have to attach these to the printer. But um, got the basic software in place to be able to talk to the electronics. The way that works is since the bottom layer is an Arduino, the first thing you have to do is uh, upload the firmware for the Arduino and basically the Arduino firmware is simply an Arduino program. So the firmware that I'm using is called Sprinter. So the first thing you have to do is you have to determine what COM port your Arduino is on. You plug your Arduino in via USB. There's a USB port on the, Ar on the Arduino that you plug into your computer. Then uh, in the case of like Windows, you need to determine what serial port that ends up on. So just go to System, Hardware, Device Manager, and then under Ports, Common LPT, you'll see one that's Arduino, Arduino Mega. In my case, it's COM4. So to get the Arduino software, which you can get from uh, the Arduino website, to talk to the Arduino Mega, you simply go into Tools menu, select your serial port, in this case COM4, and then to define the port type, in this case Arduino Mega 2560. Um, and once you do that, you should be able to upload the firmware. Now the firmware is just a zip file you download. I'm using Sprinter. Once you unzip the file, you'll open the uh, sketch file, in this case Sprinter, dot, uh, Sprinter sketch file, which will open it up in Arduino and it'll open up all its associated files that are part of that sketch. One of them is configuration.h. Um, and this has a lot of settings that you can define that are specific to your machine. Um, you can define what type of thermistor you have, uh, you can define all sorts of things like turning on SD card reader or turning it off if you don't have an SD card reader. You can add an SD card reader to your ramps board so that you can print without a computer by putting your files on the SD card. Uh, and so you can print directly from the SD card. Uh, but you can go into configuration file and define uh, what type of RAMPS board you have or, or what type of uh, electronics in general you're using. And then once you get all your configuration settings tweaked out, um, in, my, in my case I'm using RAMPS 1.3 so I've defined the board as the RAMPS 1.3 board. I've defined the, th the thermistor for the heater as a Mendel Parts thermistor because that's what I bought. It actually has the settings right here as far as, you know, one is for 100K thermistor, two is for 200K thermistor, three is for Mendel Parts thermistor, etc. 
So you just find which one you know yours is and put the number here. And it's pretty much, I don't think I changed too much besides that. Um, probably have to go back in here and tweak it uh, some more once I start doing calibration. But um, this was good enough just to upload it. So once you get it where you want it, save the file and then click the upload button here and it'll upload the firmware. Then the next thing you need to get is a printer interface and this basically is what runs the printer and I'm using one called Pronterface there are different options out there they're all generally open source so you know pick the one you like Sprinter was recommended to me as being one of the most up-to-date and one of the best for the Mendel Prusa so I picked that and it's basically just a Python program so you, there's uh, some instructions on their website how to install it what you need to install and once you get it set up and installed um, you select your port again COM4 and then you connect to the printer and once you're connected to the printer uh, then you have these buttons over here you can kind of test it with now what this does is uh, you've got X plus 100, X plus 10, X plus 1 and, and then so on and those are millimeters so X plus 100 would be to move uh, 100 millimeters in the positive direction so let's just try X plus 10 should move the x-axis at 10 millimeters now whether that was actually 10 millimeters or not I don't know I'll probably have to measure that at some point and then if it's not right I'll have to modify the firmware so that it does actually move 10 millimeters when I give it that command so let's do the same thing for the Y and see if Y moves yeah so Y is, y is moved and now we'll try the z-axis Z plus 10 should cause it to go up. And that seems to be working. Actually, one thing, and let's look here. If I do Y plus 10, so the, yeah, that's, that's actually, I think, backwards. Not entirely sure. Yeah, I think that is backwards. I think the board should actually move the other way. So I might have to, if that's the case, if that's backwards, I'll have to turn the uh, stepper motor connector the other way and hook it up the other way and that'll reverse it. Let me see, let's look at the X again here. So X plus 10 should move to the right and it does. So I think the Y I need to reverse if I'm not mistaken. But um, let's try Y. Let me do a minus 10 here and see if it'll go backwards. Yeah, it's moving backwards. I'll do that one more time. And then we'll do Y plus 100. Hopefully that won't crash. Yeah. And then we can do Y minus 100. So yeah, basically all good stuff. Electronics are soldered and working and that's always good. The magic smoke didn't escape in that process. And the software is talking to the Arduino and making the stepper motors do stuff. Oh, yeah, one thing I discovered, it took me a long time to find good documentation. One of the things that's kind of frustrating about the whole RepRop project is there's good information out there, but the wiki is sort of constantly changing. And the information, the older information doesn't get like cleared off or anything. So it's kind of a bit of a jumble. You have to kind of look around and find the stuff that's really relevant to your situation. So like this ramps board has changed since February. Uh, it's changed versions, it's changed layout, they've added more stuff to it. So you'll find stuff out there for the ramps board that's for the older 1.2 version and it won't match anything, well it won't match much of what you're looking at if you have the 1.3. And so it's a little confusing. I finally did find uh, a good uh, ramps uh, page on the on the wiki so it is out there. <laughs> and it, and it first when I first hooked it up um, the stepper motors weren't really moving and they were making a hell of a lot of racket and stuff like that so what I finally figured out was uh, there's some jumpers that have to be installed underneath the stepper drivers uh, and there's like for each stepper driver there's three jumper blocks and jumpers have to be installed on each one of those what that does is that sets the micro stepping for the servo or for the uh, stepper motors so with all three installed, it's one sixteen stepper or, or um, micro stepping, which is the default. 
So once I put those jumpers in, it was like, you know, magic. Everything started working right. The other thing is, I don't know, you probably can't see this with the camera that I have here, but on, on those little stepper motor boards, there's actually a um, potentiometer. Before you start up your ramps board, you want to adjust that potentiometer all the way counterclockwise and then adjust it to about 25% uh, going clockwise. Uh, that sets the stepper motor driver at you know roughly 25%. If you have them turned up too high, it's going to cause problems. It's going to potentially overheat the driver, potentially overheat the stepper motor. So uh, set them at a sane setting of like 25% or something like that before you before you start up uh, the uh, electronics so that you don't cause yourself any trouble. Um, I haven't adjusted them from 25%. They seem to be working fine uh, at 25%. So, um, so what's next? Lots of stuff. Still a lot of stuff to do. Got to get um, the micro switches installed on the robot. Obviously, the wiring is a bit of a mess. I've got two. Oh, I forgot to show you this too. Uh, let me see here. Bring up the interface. One of the things I can do in the printer interface is I can say extrude. And then in theory, you know, should extrude some filament. So, oh, look at that, it extrudes filament. So the extruder's working, the hot end uh, is all done. Here's the hot end. And basically looks like some seriously mad science stuff with all the wires hanging off of it. But um, yeah, so I still need to get this wired into the electronics, which is pretty straightforward and I need to tuck uh, all the wires away and put them in like wiring loom or something and you know permanently attach the electronics to the side of the printer and things like that so a lot of uh, just you know finishing up basically and uh, and yeah so I don't know if I'll be able to get all that done today but we'll see it's uh, there's still a lot of work to do I've still got to do the printer bed too so I've got to you know do the the heated printer well, the print bed itself is no, no big shakes, but uh, adding the heated bed part is going to uh, be another task I have to accomplish. But yeah, so it's all good news though. Everything's working with electronics and things are moving, so that's a big uh, milestone, so I'm pretty happy. So that's it for now, and thanks for watching.